Every evening at 7 o'clock, Monika Till shuts up shop. Then she and her husband have their greenhouse paradise to themselves. Glass houses like these normally house flowers, fruit, or tropical plants. This one has plenty of plant life too, but Monika and Thomas Till have also set up their home here, a stone building encased in glass. You sense that there's a protective shell over you, and that's nice. Especially when there's rain hammering down, but you can still go out and enjoy the greenery. The Tills always get up early. Breakfast is at 6 a.m. in a setting more like a botanical garden. Sometimes they do get interrupted by customers coming outside of opening hours. We don't open till 9, so there's no staff here yet. But Thomas wouldn't dream of leaving a customer standing outside, so he waits on her anyway. The customers know we're always here. One positive thing is we don't have to travel to work, so it saves money. The Till's private home covers 120 square meters of space. So this is the green part of our living room. We have various things growing here. The vine is further along than it would be if it were outside. Here we have blackwood bamboo. It suffered a bit during the winter, but it'll recover. Then we have a photinia, an evergreen that many will know from Italy or other Mediterranean countries. And over here is a variety of a fan palm, which grows in the wild in Italy. Monica Till has long since got used to living and working in the same building. Our private living space is protected somehow. It is an open house, that's true, but it's still divided up. We don't have staff back here all the time in our private home. It happens. You can even find a customer in your living room. But not often. In summer, temperatures in the glass house can rise to over 40 degrees Celsius, so the blinds have to be drawn. When it's sunny, we normally leave them shut, or partly shut, all day. We have to weigh it up. But like now, where it's a bit cloudy, you can leave it open a bit, and then it's quite bearable. But what about the work climate? What's it like for staff working right next to their boss's home? It's not always easy. We have a very personal and family-like relationship with each other and with the bosses, which is nice. But if the bosses have a row, then we feel it. So it's all very authentic. In 1993, the Tills plucked up the courage to fulfill their dream. They both knew what they wanted and completely agreed on the plan. They invested several hundred thousand euros, hard work and willingness to take a risk. And it's paid off. Garden centers in Germany have a hard time these days competing with home improvement centers and discount stores that also sell plants. Monika Till works in distribution and rarely has to go out to do her shopping, as she has practically everything growing on her doorstep. You can't quite avoid buying stuff outside now and then, but we try to use what we already have here. This is much better quality than anything you get in a supermarket. Some of the neighbors complained during the building phase and found the whole business idea a little strange. That hasn't changed, but the Tills don't care. They're living their dream and are quite happy. Thomas! Come have lunch. And every day, they draw inspiration from the beauty that surrounds them.